The Methuselah conundrum, eh? All right, let's unpack this by diving into the good old Bible and considering what's often a mix of interpretations, symbolism, and literal translations. Now, Methuselah has got some cred for his age, 969 years to be exact, as recorded in Genesis. That's not just old, that's ancient with a capital A. It's the kind of old that makes you think twice about complaining when your back starts to hurt. But wait, there's a plot twist involving Adam, right? Here's the thing. When it comes to biblical accounts, especially in the book of Genesis, we're dealing with a document that's both a spiritual guide and a historical account, mixed with a rich dose of allegory. The ages listed in the Bible, those aren't just numbers. They're packed with symbolic meaning that can represent purity, completeness, or other theological concepts. Adam, the original man, indeed lived for 930 years according to Genesis 5. 5. That's no small feat, but still 39 years shy of Methuselah's record. But why measure in years at all? Why not just use more conventional benchmarks? Well, for the people writing this stuff down, years were a solid way to show that someone's life had significance, that it mattered in the grand scheme. Now, regarding your question about Adam's life before the whole Apple incident, or as I like to call it, snack time gone wrong. The timeline isn't crystal clear, no ticking clocks or running calendars. The Bible, it seems, was less concerned with Adam's pre-snack time age and more focused on the narrative from the fall onwards. So Methuselah holds the title of oldest dude because the text specifically lays out his lifespan as a precise number, a point of interest and perhaps a moral lesson. As for Adam, it's a little vaguer. Could he have been older than Methuselah when it comes to total existence, including pre-Eden time? Sure, it's possible. The Bible, however, doesn't seem to think those pre-fruit years are the tale worth tallying. And hey, let's not forget that while these ages seem astronomically high to us mortals accustomed to the three score and ten ballpark, they pale in comparison to Enoch, Methuselah's dad, who didn't die but was taken away by God at a relatively spry age of 365. In Portland, where I'm at, you come to appreciate the age of things in a different way. Old growth forests, volcanic landscapes, they lend perspective on what it means to be enduring. Portland itself isn't Methuselah old by any stretch, but like the Bible's allegorical longevity, it's rich in stories and history that speak to a different kind of permanence. Regardless, what we can take from Methuselah, Adam, and the gang is a certain appreciation for the time we've got and the legacies we leave behind, even if we're not hitting triple-digit birthdays.